Well, here we go again with another change in plans. And uh, my set of Forzners, they jump by an eighth of an inch. In other words, it'll be like half an inch and then five eighths and then six eighths or three, three quarters uh, and so on. But this one here is one and one sixteenth. And that happens to be uh, the one that I use when I'm doing the pepper mill. Uh, it works, it's a, just a perfect size for the pepper mill. I ordered it uh, especially from William Woodwright for the pepper mill. That's why I have this size. Now as it turns out, that's the exact size of this piece right here. So, another change in plans. Now the idea is, let me get this out of the way, that this is going to fasten on the side. Well, it'll be on the other side, but it'll go on the side in the right place, and the whole thing is going to pivot on that wooden shaft. At least that's the plan. All right, we're finally ready here. Okay, so that would be 33.8 centimeters. Divided by two, so halfway is 16.9. Okay, there's 16. Point nine, it'd be right about there. Yeah, I can see that. OK. 
Okay, the one on this side is the one to remember. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to eyeball it. Okay, I don't think I need to measure halfway. That's pretty easy to see. I'm probably going to have to cut this down anyway. This is that 15 minute epoxy that we used the other day. And if I remember right, this one here is a little bit thicker. Okay, don't want to get the caps mixed up. Oh, that's probably about half half. And once again, I mixed up way too much. That's all right, William Woodwright will be happy about that. I'll have to order more soon. Or maybe I should say soon er. Okay, so I probably got at least 10 minutes left and I want to be able to reuse my stick again next time. No, you remember we were just going to eyeball this. Okay, so if the grain is running this way on this one, let's have it running this way on this one. It's perfectly square so it's not going to really matter. And I'll get it down here where I can see that line. And if you remember right, we were going to do it on the line that was that way. Now the whole idea here of the pinner is just to hold it in place so that when I put the clamps on it's not going to slither around. I'm just trying to get it more or less right here. Oops. Well you know I show my mistakes. Alright, let's do this again. Okay, that's not going anywhere. Gotta get the pliers. I am pretty sure that most of my audience is old enough to remember this famous classic movie, Pee Wee Herman's Great Adventure. Anyway, Pee Wee's riding down the sidewalk on his bicycle, and he's kind of showing off, and he takes a tumble. And as he's getting up and brushing himself off, he notices some kids watching him, and he says to the kids, I meant to do that. But you know what? I don't think I can convince you guys if I use that line here. Well, I can try. I meant to do that. No, I didn't get that very square either. Well, like I said, I'm probably going to have to shorten it anyway. It's going to be, I'm pretty sure it's going to be too long. Well, it's not the best job I've ever done, but it'll work. Well, it's pretty obvious I changed my clamp configuration there. You know what? This is a little bit soft yet. Not runny soft, just a little bit soft. I think I'm going to leave it for a while. Now it's been, I don't know, probably 45 minutes, an hour maybe. I'm just going to leave it. You know what, we'll see what we got in the morning. 